Hi, sir. Good afternoon. Um, sir, pwede po ba kayong ma-interview um, kahit 15 minutes lang po about uh, life as a teacher? Yes, pa. Um, sir, for you, what is an ideal teacher? Uh, uh, ideal teacher should possess uh, a passionate teacher mm -hmm. and uh, uh, also a teacher should uh, teach a student with a heart, not only using her or his brain, but also having a heart. Okay, sir. And sir, um, for you, sir, what is your teaching philosophy? My teaching philosophy is teacher is like a leader. Teacher is not great because of his power, but a teacher is great because he has the ability to empower others. Okay. So since you know, since I'm uh, once you are a teacher, you are capable to uh to mold the students. Because ngayon sa panahon ngayon, mamaraming mga teacher na ano eh, they are only teaching using their brain tapos kapag may mga napahiyak ng mga bata ang nangyayari ay connection, hello narinig niyo pa po? Apo, apo, apo si lang po uh, uh, minsan kasi ang nangyayari din yung mga teacher, mga abusado eh so, uh, yes, you should be a role model, model of your own room uh, yes that is num number one, sir. Being a good model for the student. Right, sir? Yes. Okay. Yes, Papa. Papa. What do you feel, sir, is the biggest challenge facing to, to today's educational system, sir? Uh, the biggest challenges that we are facing nowadays is this pandemic. So since we are in... Uh, um, online class, especially here in the Philippines, yes, we have an um, online class. There are many challenges especially to those students and we as a teacher because we rely the topics using internet. So some of the students are not uh, capable using their internet. So how we as a teacher, how can we explain those topics or subjects to mga bata? Na, uh, how can we explain, explain it well? So, ang nangyayari, um, bibigay lang yung modules, tapos kung explanation, and then yung mga nangyayari na um, mga parents na yung nagtuturo, sila na yung bahala na yes. uh, sumasagot sa mga sagot. Yes. Uh, All, questions, rather. Yeah, yeah. Also, the student is also suffering for the module because some, they don't have internet, and some um, the signal of internet is too low. They are all. Oh, yes, yes. And some, they don't have a gadget to use for the researching. Yes. Um, um sir, for. Um, what are your suggestions in order to solve this problem, sir? That uh, face. Um, yeah, the challenging. I'll go with um, home-based tutor. So since we are a teacher, one-on-one yes. um, -on -one tutor per student. Parang may iwasan ni po yung pagkalat ng, or pagkalat ng virus. Hawaan, rather. Um, ang may sasuggest ko lang is having a tutor for them to have at least um, a little bit of knowledge on how the topic are being uh, um, being discussed and uh, being solved. Kasi may mga parents din na ano eh, na nasa work. 
Tapos sabi nila, hindi ko alam yun, hindi ko alam, magpaturo ka na lang siya kay ate o sa kay kuya. Pero mas maganda kung may mga tutor. Parang ako, ako din kasi, hindi na ako teacher sa public school. Ngayon, substitute teacher, nag-tutor din po ako pag uwi ko. So, nakikita ko kung gaano nahihirapan yung mga parents. So, ang nangyayari, um, ginagawa ko, sinututor ko one by one yung mga bata. Pinapaintindi. Kasi, less lang yung time ng teacher. Especially, mm-hmm. one is to 40 students. Yung ratio, yes. mahirap po yun. Yes, po. Sobrang hirap po talaga. So, ganun po. Online tutor. Online tutor. Kung hindi online tutor, o oh, one uh, face-to-face, home-based tutorial. Ah, okay. Um, sir, what message you can give to those who aspire to be a teacher in the future? Okay. Unang-una dyan, patience is a virtue. So, wag na wag yes. kayong mawawala ng pasensya dahil ito yung uh, ano natin eh, kalasag natin. This is our weapon. Kasi kung ikaw ay walang pasensya sa mga bata, ano na lang ang mangyayari? Hindi ka makakapagturo ng maayos at mahalin mo yung profession mo. Kung mahal mo yung profession mo, ikaw ay tatawagin dakilang guro. Maraming guro ngayon yung nagtatrabaho lang dahil sa sahod. Pero iba pa rin yung may passion, may puso sa pagtuturo. Magkaiba ang uh, sumasahod lang sa may puso. Mas maganda kung pagsabayin mo, sumasahod ka at the same time, timot na tuturo ka na galit sa iyong puso. Um, um, that's all. Uh, yan lang po yung may itatanong ko sa inyo, sir. Salamat po sa a few minutes for interview, uh, Mr. Josh Surait. Sir. Ah, right, thank sir. you po, uh, thank future you. teacher. Oh, <laughs> picture mo na tayo, ate. Okay Kapaya. po, okay po. Okay po. One, two, three. Sapa po, one, two, three. God bless po, ate. God thank you, bye bye. Salamat po. From, nasa Hong, Hong Kong po kayo, Hong Kong? Yes po, Hong Kong. Um, I'm studying in... Ama Ama Computer Learning Center in Hong Kong by Ama University po. Yes, thank, thank you. you. God bless po. Thank you, sir.
I am Mary Jane Ansoriano. I'm a student of AMA Computer Learning Center in Hong Kong. Upon my interview for Mr. Joseph Surait and Mrs. Donalyn Austria, I learned for their answer is to be a patient. This is the important quality of a future teacher. Because for me, I can deal for any situation or a question for the, my future student. It is reduce negative emotion and stress, anger, and frustration. It is keeping me going to reach my goals to my to my student to learn more and communicate for their study and never give up to them and trying to find way to help them to succeed in the school. That's all. Thank you.